Hey, this is John with thenetguy.com and I have the Samsung all-in-one touchscreen computer with me. This is my friend's computer and he called me up and said, Hey John, my computer's not opening files. It's really, really running slow. Can you come take a look at it? And remotely, I was able to diagnose that the hard drive's starting to go bad. I'm gonna go through step-by-step step the tools and the techniques that I use to diagnose a bad hard drive versus just a machine that's running slowly. And I'm gonna show you how to take this hard drive out and replace it with a brand new solid state drive. You'll be very impressed with the performance difference that you can get. And if your computer doesn't actually have a failing component, you'll be able to tell that as well and have a little bit of peace of mind. So stick around, we'll get into this thing and I'll show you the steps that I use to diagnose this hard drive. So the first thing that we're gonna do is hit the Windows key and type the command CMD. And the CMD command is gonna bring up the command prompt. Right click on the command prompt and hit run as administrator. This is important if we're gonna do any changes to the drive, sometimes this is required so that it can lock the drive. And the first command we're gonna run is called check disk. It's just CHK, DSK, and then the drive letter, your main hard drive is always C colon, uh, or C colon backslash, in this case C colon works. If you want it to fix in the first pass, you can do slash F, but I recommend just doing a first pass without the fix parameter, and it's just gonna do a read-only check. In this case, it runs through the several layers and it didn't report any bad sectors, it didn't report any lost chains, any other things that would tell me that the drive itself was going bad. So the next process we want to run is a program called HD Tune. And so the nice thing about HD Tune, the professional version even, is that it's a free program that lets you benchmark your hard drive to see how fast it's running. It also lets you see if the hard drive has what we call smart errors. So SMART is an acronym. It's actually a built-in self-test that all hard drives manufactured in the last 20 years have had. And these are our metrics that it keeps on the hard drive across reboots, across, you know, from when it was new. And it lets you know if things are going bad. So in this case, we can see the spin-up time here. So it has the years that it's been running. It's got the amount of times it's been turned on and off, which can be hard for a spinning hard drive. And then I'm going to go over to the error scan. Um, the air scan can be very important and the one thing you'll notice is it actually does pretty well here at the beginning of the drive so it's scanning at about 100 megabytes 90 megabytes per second and it shows you the position that it's at about two gigabytes scanned here in less than a minute and it's going to go here and then it's going to stop and this is really common with a drive that's got a hardware problem but it's not exposing it to the operating system. So the drive is going bad. It's got these you know, errors that it's trying to recover. It's gonna read the same section over and over. So it gets to this 3,600 megabytes. It's doing 100 megabytes per second, as you see. And I'll skip forward here so you can see, um, you know, this took several hours to run in total, but you know, it was doing really well and then it just hung. And the drive is reading over and over and remapping sectors and doing things that it needs to, to um, you know, avoid this damaged area of the drive, but it's not reporting that damage. So now you can see the scanning speed. It went down to eight megabytes. So it's running 10 times slower or more in this one section of the drive. And then, you know, it averages out over the rest of the drive. It did pretty good. And so then this is the, the lapse total. As you can see here, it says that the drive is good, but, you know, honestly, for those slowdowns that it has, just for the, the seat of the pants experience that I've had with this drive, I know that this is having a problem. Also with that smart error that we saw in there, that warning that data was starting to get, um, you know, going bad, I would recommend to replace the drive. So in step two, I'm gonna show you how to use this product for free called Macrium Reflect. And it's gonna allow you to back up the drive to a solid state drive. So stick around. I'll be posting the video for step two here and it's gonna show you how to use this Macrium Reflect product to clone all of your information onto a new hard drive. I'm John with thenetguy.com and thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of my video. If you liked what you saw here, do me a solid, hit the like button down below. 
If you really want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want YouTube to actually let you know they're there, hit the bell. I would love to show you some more items. We've got upcoming videos on home automation, how to use Alexa, and other really cool tips and technology tricks for real people.